A request came one of my viewers that how to convert Docomo Xperia Z3 to international version. Well, I don't have Xperia Z3, but right now I am having Docomo Xperia Z3 Compact. And the procedure of converting Docomo Z2 international is same, only we will have to download the formulas. Like if we if you having a Z3, then go for Z3 links, and if you having a Z3 compact, then go for Z3 compact links. And the flash tool will be the same, and drivers will be the same. So I'm going to start this procedure. And if you want to change your Docomo Z3 compact either or Z3, then you will have to watch my video carefully. You all welcome to my channel that is Tech Info Mania. Starting the procedure from downloading few files. Number one file is the Sony Companion. This is the official site of Sony. So download the Sony Companion from this site and then you will have to install it on your Windows. And the second file is the Flash Tool file. To flash the firmware on Xperia Z3 or Z3 Compact of Docomo. And the latest release is for Z4 and Z5. So do not uh, download that latest one go for the previous release that 0.9.18.6 you will have to click the windows section and then the other side you will have to download either from torrent or any other server so download this file and you will have to install this flash tool on your windows third file will be the firmware file this is the international z3 compact d5803 firmware file download this firmware file and save all the files in a separate folder so this uh, is the firmware of japan docomo z3 compact and uh, stock and in case if you want to go back to flashing a stock firmware of japan docomo then you will have to download this firmware also and keep it safe in that folder and after downloading all the files, I'm going to start my, this procedure from installing the Xperia Companion. And when I was trying to install Xperia Companion, Windows gave me an error that a file is missing and sometimes it's happened. And if you get this type of error, you will have to download a file manually from Microsoft site. And I will give the link in description also. Let's download to that file from Microsoft and install it on Windows. And then after if you try to install Xperia Companion, then you will not get any error of this type. And that missing file from Microsoft site is the, uh, this one. You have to download this file and install it on, on your Windows. And uh, after that, your PC will ask you to restart, restart the PC. And then uh, start your procedure from installing the Xperia Companion. And now after installing that uh, missing file, now I'm going to start my procedure from Xperia Companion and this time no error as I've already installed that missing file and just download, uh, just install this Xperia Companion and after that we will have to install Flash Tool. And now it's time to install the flash tool that the previous version 0.9.18.6 and after installing your flash tool you will have to go to your c drive and you can see a flash tool folder open it and uh, before opening the flash tool you will have to install the driver and uh, watch me the way I am installing it the, all the drivers
and the drivers are completed and you will have to go back to the folder double click the flash tool and uh, when the flash tool software open it will take time for the first time and you will have to wait now it's time to make the flash tool ready for flashing click the flash arrow click ok and click here and you will have to go to that folder where you have saved all the files and you can see the firmware is there international firmware d5803 do not uncheck in wipe window and you will have to check two things in exclude window that is check the partition and check the base band and after selecting the partition and base band in exclude window now click ok and your flash tool will, will pre start preparing your firmware file and soon that it will show you to connect your uh, Xperia Z3 Compact with the laptop or your PC. So switch off your set before connecting it. And this window meaning that your flash tool is ready and you should connect your Xperia Z3 Compact with the laptop. So use a good quality of cable and you will have to press the volume down key and keep pressing it holding it to press and connect your cable and for the first time now when when you connect the cable windows will start installing drivers and flash tool will not start the flashing from here and when your windows finish installing the drivers and now you will have to disconnect the cable first and then you will have to repeat the procedure of selecting the firmware once again now i will repeat the procedure of selecting the firmware and then i will uncheck nothing from the wipe window and i will check only from exclude window is partition and the base band and then i will click the flash and when flash tool uh, tells me to connect the xperia z3 compact then i will connect my set with the laptop and uh, soon then my flashing will be start so yeah, all you have to do is to watch me carefully now. So press the volume down key and keep holding it press and connect your cable with the uh, Xperia Z3 Compact and when you see flash tool start flashing from here then release the volume down key and uh, your flash tool will uh, start the flashing firmware and it will take a time now Here I would like to mention that sometimes flash tool is showing you an error of flashing about it. After when flashing completed or at the very end of flashing. So it does not mean that flashing was not done and you may get worried that your Xperia device may got bricked. Well, you do not have to worry because flash tool gives this error sometime with few Xperia devices not with every Xperia devices with few and firmware is flash completely and successfully unfortunately I got the same error message after when my flashing done and I will show you what we need to do if we get this error of flashing a botted message from flash tool at the end of flashing so I will show you at the end of my this video what we will have to do if your flash tool gives you an error message of flashing about it. Well you can see that uh, my flash tool is showing me that uh, flashing is about it and uh, there is no worry that uh, 
I will say that my uh, firmware is not flash. No, my firmware is flash completely. And uh, all I need to do is to disconnect the cable from Xperia Z3 Compact and I will switch on my device that is Xperia Z3 Compact normally. Disconnect the cable from Z3 Compact and uh, now switch on the Z3 Compact normally just like we used to switch on the devices and you can see the Sony logo just uh, wait and uh, soon you're gonna see encryption unsuccessful message on your Xperia Z3 Compact or any Xperia device And here is a message you came that encryption unsuccessful. So your Xperia want to reset the phone. You just have to reset the phone. Click the reset phone and your set will uh, boot into recovery in its on stock recovery. And it will start your wiping factory data resetting. As you can see that it's already boot in recovery and it is doing its job. And when your data factory resetting done, your set will boot normally. And for the first time, your Xperia Z3 Compact will boot your international Xperia Z3 Compact model number D5803 firmware on the Tokomo Japan Xperia Z3 Compact. And finally, my Z3 Compact Docomo Japan model number SO02G is finally converted to International Xperia Z3 Compact model number D5803. I will show you in the settings about phone also. And uh, I have no issues. I have converted many Xperia devices to international model. And uh, no complaints, no issues in firmware and uh, this was a way or uh, this was a simple way to flash international firmware on your docomo japan xperia devices and if you want to flash your international firmware on your docomo xperia z3 or z3 comeback or any xperia devices you have to follow the procedure just i have showed in my video and you just uh, need to download the firmware according to your xperia device Everything is working fine. I will show you a little bit in case if you thinking that uh, the camera or calling may be work or not. And uh, my 4G is working perfectly on my Xperia after converting it to the international model. Thank you for watching the video. And uh, if my video is helpful, you think that it is helpful and uh, uh, subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up. Take a good care of yourself. See you in next video uh, and uh, till then, goodbye.